Good evening, Facebook Live friends, and welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom for another gathering of Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. I'm Tom Dendy, pastor of Celebration Presbyterian Church, located in the Carolina Forest community of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And we've been hosting these Tuesday evening virtual Vespers since the start of this COVID crisis. And we're glad to have you tune in for a little bit of scripture and prayer and affirmation and support for one another and some songs and maybe some laughter. Feel free to laugh at me. That's okay. I'm here for you. All right. Um, give just a minute or two for folks to gather and i see susan johnston is here hello friend of mine god bless you thanks for coming out um and as others are joining us i'm going to tell you that the theme for tonight is singing amidst the stresses of life have you got stress in your life has the covid 19 pandemic ramped up the stress in your life? Have you had plenty of alone time and isolation? Have you got cabin fever to the point where you're just not sure what to do about it? Well, we're going to share some scriptures tonight and sing some songs and think about what it means to elevate our spirits together by singing in the midst of our stresses of life. Welcome everybody to this Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. I'm glad you're here and I want to begin with some scripture. Psalm 96, which says, Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless God's name and tell of God's salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations, God's marvelous works among the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. God is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before God. Strength and beauty are in God's sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory, do God's name, bring an offering, and come into God's courts. Worship the Lord in God's holy splendor and tremble before God, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. God will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. And then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Before the Lord, for God is coming. For God is coming to judge the earth and he will judge the world with righteousness and the people with God's own truth. Friends, Psalm 96, God's word for God's people. We say thanks be to God. I want to share an opening song by Brian and Katie Torwalt called Holy Spirit. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing compares your our living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves. Where my heart becomes free and my shame's undone. In your presence, Lord, well, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. 
Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome in your presence, Lord. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing can compare your I living. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, where my heart is free and my shame's undone. In your presence, Lord. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Well, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome in your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit by Brian and Katie Torwalk. So when I thought about this theme of singing our, the Lord's song amidst the stressors of our life, I thought about Psalm 137, where God's people were in captivity in Babylon. And they say, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and there we wept when we remembered Zion. In other words, they were thinking what life was like at home, the normal the familiar. On the willows there we hung up our harps, for there our captors asked us for songs and our tormentors asked us for mirth, saying, sing us one of those songs of Zion. But how could we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? Life had changed and everything that had been familiar was no longer the same for them. Sort of like we're living with now in the midst of the world where things have changed. What was normal a year ago is no longer the norm. So singing amidst the stresses of life in the midst of a pandemic, it can seem hard to muster energy or it can feel pointless since we can't be together with others to share the songs of our lives 
And we're told that even when we are allowed to go back and worship together, we won't be able to sing for fear of infecting one another. So our joy has been sucked right out of us as this social distancing and life-changing isolation persist. And we have to settle for technology-assisted community gatherings. Perhaps you've been to one for a happy hour gathering on Zoom or Google Meet, or you're worshiping through Facebook Live or some other streaming service. Perhaps you're doing online counseling. Today we held our first technology-assisted presbytery meeting in the New Harmony Presbytery. We, we Zoomed together <clears throat> and we did so successfully. Many people's lives have now turned into a schedule of Zoom meetings or Google Meets as ways of staying in touch with friends and family and caring for work and assignments that are ongoing even in the midst of a pandemic. But there's just no substitute for being with those we love up close and personal. The isolation is taking a toll on many of us, and I'll say us because I'm a social people person and I'm missing y'all. That's right, I'm in the South and I'm gonna say I miss all y'all. I need to see you, hear you, be up close and personal to you. Seniors like my dad who are in retirement communities that are still on lockdown for their health and safety are suffering the isolation, feeling cut off from the things that matter most at their stage and age, which is relationship. Nursing homes, hospitals, mental health facilities, all these places are on cautious lockdown and the people inside are just as cut off from us as we are from them. Well, we're doing the best we can to live this strange new life and adapt as best we can day by day and week by week as we learn more of what there is to know about this disease and about how it's being treated and what they hope to find in the way of a cure. So maybe we're adapting or perhaps we are not adapting. Some are shutting down losing themselves to despair and depression or to destructive habits and distractions. Friends, wherever you are along the spectrum of COVID-19 survival, please know that you're not alone. We are all in this together and we're all working with it from our individual places as best we can. Don't suffer in silence. If you need help, help is available. Reach out, call someone, call me. I'm glad to listen and to refer you to a trusted counselor who will do online counseling to provide you some help and a listening ear. Know this, this pandemic will not last forever. And by the grace of God, we will emerge from this pandemic into what will be a brave new world as post-pandemic pioneers of a new day in the world and in our local communities and in our personal lives with our families here in our homes. Think about that, what it'll mean to be a post-pandemic pioneer, bringing forth a new day in the world, in our local communities, in our personal lives and in our homes. I want to share an old gospel song that's from 1940, written by James Buchanan Coates, a man who collected many uh, hymns throughout the hills and compiled them into hymn books. But this is one that he, he wrote himself, and it's called, Where Could I Go But to the Lord? Living below 
in this so sinful world hardly a comfort can afford striving alone to taste face temptations call where could I go but to the Lord where could I go tell me where could I go seeking a refuge for my soul needing a friend to help me to the end and where could I go but to the Lord neighbors are fun I love them everyone we get along in sweet accord when I pass the chilling hand of death where can I go but to the Lord where can I go tell me where can I go seeking a refuge for my soul needing a friend to help me to the end where could I go but to the Lord well life here is grand with friends I love so well comfort I get from God's own word but when my soul needs manna from above where could I go but to the Lord? Sing it with me. Where could I go? Tell me where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Needing a friend to help me to the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? One more time. Where could I go? Tell me where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Needing a friend to help me stand until the end. And where could I go but to the Lord? J.B. Coates. Where could I go but to the Lord? Written back in 1940. So we started with a new song, singing a new song unto the Lord, and then that's an older song. I want to share a pandemic prayer that was written by a Jewish rabbi whose name is Naomi Levy. Please bow with me now for prayer. She says, We are frightened, God, worried for our loved ones. Worried for our world, helpless and confused, we turn to you seeking comfort, faith, and hope. Teach us, God, to turn our panic into patience and our fear into acts of kindness and support. Our strong must watch out for our weak. Our young must take care of our old. Help each one of us to do our part to halt the spread of this COVID-19 virus. Send strength and courage to the doctors and nurses in the front lines of this battle. Fortify them with the full force of their healing powers. Send wisdom and insight to the scientists working day and night around the world to discover a healing treatment or vaccine. Bless their efforts, God. Fill our leaders with the wisdom and courage to choose wisely and act quickly. Help us, God, to see that we are one world, one people, who will rise above this pandemic together. Send us health, God. Watch over us. Grace us with your love. Bless us with your healing light. And hear us, God. Heal us, God. Amen. I want to share another hymn 
from our uh, Presbyterian hymnal. I'm sure others have it in theirs too. Hear the good news of salvation. And it's to the familiar Nettleton tune. Hear the good news of salvation. Jesus died to show God's love. Such great kindness, such great mercy comes to us from heaven above. Jesus Christ, how much I love you. Jesus Christ, how much you say. How I loved you, look upon me. Love be still and cleanse within. All the sins I have committed to my Savior now I bring. I bow down with tears of anguish. Christ forgives and so I sing. Jesus Christ, how much I love you. Jesus Christ, you save from sin. How I love you, look upon me, love me still and cleanse within. How I love you, look upon me, love me still and cleanse within. That's how we can sing the Lord's song in the midst of the stresses of our life in a time of pandemic in a time of great uncertainty, because the good news of Jesus Christ who promises to stand with us and to help give us hope day to day to rise above our despair, to remember that we are a people of hope because we are loved by God completely. And we are forgiven completely, redeemed, in order that we might represent God's love in the world today. Will you please bow with me now and share the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, I want to thank you for sharing in this Vespers part one tonight. If you'll join me in just a bit, I'll offer you part two and part three as I return with simply some more songs to share, okay? Also, I remind you to tune in Thursdays at 6.30 p.m., for Beer and Hymns with Sarah Abushakra, who's our music director at Celebration Presbyterian Church. Um, we invite you to please worship with us on Sundays on our Facebook live stream found on the Celebration Presbyterian Church Facebook page. I thank you for being part of this fellowship of friends that has been forging relationships virtually on Tuesday nights as we've gathered and worshiped together and prayed together and sung together and laughed together and perhaps we've even shared some tears together. I wanna to thank you for your ongoing prayers and support of Celebration Presbyterian Church. It takes all of us working together to be the church, even at a distance. So continue to do your part to slow the spread of the coronavirus and to help flatten the curve of new cases here in Horry County, South Carolina. Be kind to those you're sharing space with in isolation. And I know that's asking a lot because the days seem to drag on endlessly into days. But be kind to those you're sharing space with in isolation. Be a thoughtful neighbor to check on your neighbors. Pray for those on the front lines of this pandemic Pray for schools and staff and students and families 
as they're navigating a new school year right now amidst the pandemic. I thank you for all your kind words, your encouragement and prayers throughout the pandemic. And I invite you to please join me again next Tuesday evening at 730 for the next gathering of Tuesday evening virtual Vespers brought to you by Celebration Presbyterian Church located here in the Carolina Forest community of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I invite you back to the Rainbow Ballroom where we'll continue to have some singing and fun in just a little bit. Remember this, friends, God loves you and so do I. Take care and come back in just a little bit, okay?